In this video, we will focus on dot and cross drawing of sodium chloride ionic compound. Before we even start, let's go back to the basics. Why do atoms of elements form bonds? Now, atoms of elements, except the noble gases, form chemical bond to achieve stable noble gas electronic configuration. Now, if the atom has only one shell, the maximum number of electrons it can have is two. This we call in the duplet configuration. If it has more than one shell, the maximum number of electrons it can have is eight. This we call it the octet configuration. When discussing the octet rule, we do not consider D or F electrons. Only the S and P electrons are involved in the octet rule. This is the periodic table. We can determine the number of electrons each atom has from the periodic table. Look here, the key. In this periodic table, the number at the top tells us the number of protons an atom has. Since the number of protons and electrons are the same in an atom, this number also tells us how many electrons each atom has. The number at the bottom tells us the number of protons and neutrons each atom has. Now let's focus on sodium now. Sodium has 11 electrons. The first shell holds 2 electrons. The second shell holds 8 electrons. The last electron is in the third shell. Now sodium atom would love to donate this electron to a non-metal atom so that it can achieve and of that configuration. Now the non-metal in this compound is chlorine. Chlorine has 17 electrons. The first shell holds 2. The second shell holds 8. It has 7 in the third shell. Chlorine has only 7 electrons in its outermost shell. It needs one more electron to achieve the octet configuration. Hence, it will take in one electron from sodium so that it can have 8 electrons in its outermost shell. So sodium atom will donate one electron to chlorine atom to form sodium ion and chloride ion. Now do note, metals always give away electrons and non-metals always take in electrons. Now let's work out the charges of the ions. Sodium atoms has 11 protons, which gives it a charge of positive 11, while 11 electrons, which gives it a charge of negative 11. Hence, the overall charge of this atom is 0. Now, when sodium gives away its electrons to the non-metal, the number of protons remain unchanged. Hence, the positive charge is still positive 11. However, there are only 10 electrons left, Hence, the negative charge is negative 10. Overall charge in this ion is positive 1. We will need to represent this charge in a dot and cross diagram. Put the bracket and the charge. For chlorine, the atom has 17 protons, which gives it a charge of positive 17, while 17 electrons, which gives it a charge of negative 17. The overall charge of this atom is zero. When chlorine takes in electron from sodium, the number of protons remain unchanged. Hence, the positive charge is still positive 17. However, there are 18 electrons now. Hence, the negative charge is negative 18. Overall charge in chloride ion is negative 1. Put the bracket and the charge in the dot and cross diagram. Now, sometimes in examination questions, they will ask you to draw only the outermost electrons. Hence, we can omit the inner shells, and this is what you should draw. In a nutshell, a metal loses its outermost electrons to form positive ion, while a non-metal gains the electrons to form negative ion. The oppositely charged ions are held together by strong electrostatic forces of attraction, which we call the ionic bond. Now we'll be going through drawing of dot and cross diagram of other ionic compounds in this channel. 
Now don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more chemistry learning videos. Please help to like this video and share with your friends if you find it useful. Have fun learning chemistry and I will see you soon.